Now let's talk about my first guest today. Let's, before we even talk about my guest, let's talk about the film in itself. The Nigerian actress, you know her, you love her, producer, world best, Toyin Abraham at JME. She's released the first new trailer for her upcoming film, Malaika. Now in this trailer, Toyin's character is seen struggling to cope with her infertility and anger issues. Now she's surrounded by a supportive group of friends and family, but then she untimely has to embark on a spiritual journey to find healing. Now, having walked through the journey of waiting and waiting for a long time, Toyin Abraham just felt honored that she had the opportunity and the resources to tell the story with the delicacy that it needs. And quite honestly, there is no better time than now to share this. It is a story for everyone, every single person waiting, or maybe know someone who's waiting. Malaika is beyond a film, it's beyond a story, it gives hope. And this is a look at the trailer. I'm tired. I'm tired. Anger. Anger is the funnest. Tell it, it is not created to bring life. Are you sick? Get out! Witches don't deserve children. Chichi. You did not greet me. Or oh, oh, you did not see me. Okay, let's assume that you did not see me. Now that I have spoken, are you not going to greet me? Good evening. Ma. Ma. Oh. We asked for a profile picture. Is this her profile? She is a professional. Professional side chick, you mean? Go. If I will not tell him of her, I will not tell him of her. If you will not do any how, you will see any how. For serious, best caca. Oh, Tutu, don't tell me that you're thinking of cheating on your partner with, with that man. Don't shout. Guys, you make me fierce, I go slap your parents. I go, I go slap your ancestors. No, I think both of you. Kill on Shaino. I am a woman. Ebuka, I am ovulating. Yes, I am ovulating. And you know when a woman is ovulating, that is the best time to, 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 to be with her husband. Boys, they do all these space boys. That thing where they did their mind and they will still do. You know, Mezie. Who did they do that way did their mind? You know, Mezie. Baba, Femme, Lodu, Ari. Baba, Femme, Nese, Ari. Walo, Gereta. Mofi, Bifore. Mofi, Lefobi. Mofi, Wolo, Lo. You just said, Ale, Oba, Ba, Go, Swa, and joining me on a rise 360 Toyin Ibrahim Ajayemi. I'm going to call her world best because if you know Toyin Ibrahim Ajayemi, you know this is the world best. So that's okay. how I'm going to address you on the show. Congratulations on this amazing story. Thank you so much. Now, what I said was this film is for everyone who's waiting, who knows someone who's waiting. It gives hope. Tell us some more about Malaika, the story. <sighs> I'm not going to say... I'm going to say Malaika is actually for everyone. Mm -hmm. And um, this is like... Um, Malaika is PG, hmm. so that means everybody can watch. And watch it, okay. Yes, yeah, so Malaika is not about a woman trying to conceive alone. Okay. It talks about men. It talks about stepmothers. It talks about stepdaughters. It talks about marriage. It talks about um, obsessed wife. It, talk, it talks about the problems some women go through when they don't have kids and it's the husband's fault. That's another family. It talks about the fact that women are always jealous in marriage. Do men love it? Don't they love it? Do they feel safe when they all, their wife is being jealous? That's another angle. Then the fertility, that's another angle. Stepmother, that's another angle. Stepdaughter, that's another angle. Gen Z, yes, that's mm -hmm. another angle. Then how do men cope? when they find themselves in the midst of things like that. That's another angle. Then our culture is another angle in it. Oh, wow. There's so many angles to explore yes. in this film. And I think the most obvious question would be, which one of these stories would you say spoke to you the most? Because, I mean, I, I always know when it comes to m making movies like this, there's always that personal touch to it. So which one of these stories would you say stood out for you? Um, I'll say two. Okay. You know, because um, a lot of people see that um, I'm very close to my stepdaughter. So they keep asking me, 
truthfully, I've got numbers, loads of DMs. They call me, how do you do it? It's not working. I just don't know. I don't feel love. I don't feel this. I don't feel that. I feel I'm jealous. They all, my husband wants to be with me, wants to be with his daughter. That's my stepdaughter at the mm -hmm. same time. How do you do this, Tony? You guys have a sweet family. So I made up my mind, I'm going to write something about it. And you know, I had my, my son when I was 39. Mm. Yes, my son is four years old. So, and I know what I went through. It was not easy. And I see a lot of people. And you know, there was a time I was into fertility abs. Mm -hmm. So it was, I had to stop. It was crazy. I get a lot. So I get, like I cry every day when mm -hmm. people tell me their stories. So then I make up my mind and I, I notice, you know, then I noticed the way my husband, it was easy for my husband to love me and love our daughter. So it was easy for me to love my daughter mm -hmm. because my husband showed me so much love. So you understand. So I'm trying to pass a lot of messages. I don't really want to spill a lot. I don't want to talk a lot about Malika. I want people to watch it. Mm -hmm. But Malika is a story you will be able to relate with. It's a human angle story. It's a story for everyone. Everybody is PG. Everybody can see Malika. And I promise you will love it. Now, when you thought to yourself, at what point in your career did you say, because you've told a lot of beautiful stories. I mean, if we're looking between just the, I would, I would say, I think the love was, is it, was it King of Things or Ijakumo? Ijakumo. Ijakumo. That was, that was a powerful story. When I saw you at the um, Anikolapo premiere, I was just like, this is our hair. Was going on, but it was amazing. Yes. And when I see your movie, there's always a central theme around it. For that movie, it was it left people hanging in a balance of okay, should she should she have forgiven? Should she still be angry? So I'm really excited to see what questions Malaika poses to people. But for you as a filmmaker, you, you you've been an actress for for decades. I mean, you've been doing this for yes, as long for as over twenty for years. over twenty years exactly. Yes. At what point did you decide I want to tell my own stories? Because you've been doing this. Um. I've always wanted to, and I've been, I've been, I've been doing that, you know, but um, I just do it little by little. Malaika is not actually my full story. I'm still going to do my full story, but part of me, I can say Malaika like 60 or 70% of me is Malaika. Well, that's Malaika. a lot of you. Well, yes. that's... <laughs> do you understand? Yeah. So, let, because I, I feel people's pain, I know and is what everybody can relate with. Mm -hmm. So I like to tell story. You know, sometimes I, some, some, someone asked me one day and said, so you, sometimes you go in a, in a way, in a traditional way, you go spiritual. I said, because there are some things that are going underneath that we don't see. So I like to tell the story. Because I remember going to the hospital to see my doctor. My doctor would say, ah, it might be no more. Like, don't get angry. You're trying to conceive. Don't be angry. You know, during my fertility journey, mm -hmm. don't be angry. Don't shout. Don't do this. And I remember our mothers would say, ah, you're trying to get pregnant. You don't shout. You don't fight. You don't get angry. Mm -hmm. You know. So I realized that there's some angles that people are not touching yeah. when it comes to fertility. A lot of people just think, oh. Is medical have a problem? Is a woman that have a problem? Some people say, oh, is men that have a problem? Mm -hmm. And some problems are not even medical. Some are something you need to work on, on yourself. So I'm, I'm just trying to say some stories about the things that we are not taking serious that and we, we should look into it. And now as a celebrity, do you ever worry that, okay, Malaika, I, like you just rightly said, this is about 60, 70%, and I'm sure you still have other projects lined up that you intend to share. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you're letting in too much as a celeb? You know, social media is a space where people always feel like they can say whatever. All it takes is just one wrong headline. And then one minute, it's like the same people who you felt were all for you, they just turn and start saying the same. You've, you've, you've had social media drama. Everyone has had it. Everyone has had issues where people are either dragging them or they're loving them. So do you ever feel like you're just letting in a little too much? Does, it, does that ever bother you? Um, no, because this, I know this is a kind of thing that is going to help women. At the stage in my life and um, my career, I think the next thing I want to do is just empowering people, telling story that would touch. It's not just what I would imagine. It's not just shooting a story, they will fight, they will do, they will off their clothes, they will do. And at the long run, everybody is happy, they go, no. Now I want to start saying, telling stories 
that would teach. And how do I tell stories? Now, if you want to catch, if you want to talk to me about journalism, I'm going to listen to you because I know you've been there. Even if you stop doing it, mm -hmm. but I know you've been there. You know what you're talking, and you're very good. Thank you. And very by the much. way, your voice is nice. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, thank and you. you're so beautiful. Thank you. So imagine you telling me about something you've not been, yeah. you're there. You've not been there. So I want to tell a story about things that have been there, that I've experienced, and child fertility. Marriage is something I feel we should all talk about, share our ideas, share what we have, share what we know so we can help other women. So I don't think I'm letting out too much because I'm, I want to help women. It's a pandemic right now. Mm. Yes. I'm trying to have more kids. Yes, but I thank God I have two kids, a girl and, you know, and Iriolua. But I want to have more. So when I go to see my gynecologist, I... I see a lot of women. It's a pandemic. So we need to talk about it. We need to show them love. We need to tell them we love them. So I need to keep talking about it. And since I have the influence, they would, they my page, so they would I have the influence, have the resources to tell it, to let them know that we love you, we are with you. So people that ask questions, people that bully, that talk about, okay, you know, some people, they will see you, they will just ask you questions. When are you going to yes. get pregnant? I see yes. your God. So. People need to know that they need to stop. Everybody wants to be a mother. So at the long run, if it's not happening, it's not happening, don't ask them questions. Don't make them feel worthless. Love them. So. Well, best, well, best. Thank you so much for joining me on You're the show. Welcome. Well, um, Malaika is out on the 22nd of December. He's yes. going to be out on theater. Is, is this going to streaming or is it just going to be no, in the um, release right now? It's going to be in all cinemas from 22nd of December. Mm -hmm. And our premiere is on Sunday. Yeah. It is, and I cannot wait to see what you're and going you're to wear. invited. I am invited. Everyone on the show is invited. Listen, you have to be there. It's at Film House, I'm guessing. Yes, I'm Exactly, IMAX. IMAX. Thank you so much for joining me on the you're show. Welcome. I'm looking forward to seeing this beautiful story. The, the, the poster says a million things. You know how they say a picture's worth a thousand words? Yes. For me, that's what the poster is doing for me. So thank you, World Best, you're for joining welcome. me on the show, and good luck with the movie. Thank you so much.